A long time have been since I awoken from my slumber. Though that does not matter in the other realm. For one does not know day from dawn. Hmm. Was your presence that brought me from my sleep? If so, I guess I can entertain you with a tale of old. In an era of real men that gave their blood for their beliefs. The era of the Rajputs. <laughs> In the western areas of Hindustan lived the Chauhans, a powerful dynasty that established itself years prior. Its new Maharaja, Prithviraj, had been appointed by his father to build out the northern hold of Delhi, while his younger brother Sama was made Raja of Ajayameru. Their relation was hostile, so both ruled their states independently from one another. By the end of the 12th century of Yeshua, both Kazanids and Kurids were threatening the borders of Hindustan. So Prithviraj sent diplomats to neighboring Rajput states for their support. One of those who sent troops to support the cause was Tukaji, the Raja of Thanesar, for they had been close allies with the Chauhans. In the east, however, reinforcements would not come, for the kingdoms of Kanaj and Kalindar were in a prolonged feud that led to the death of many warriors. Prithviraj disliked that his allies were in such disputes, so he sent spies to the area to scout the conflicts. Samar did not preoccupy himself with the turmoils in the north, but instead focused inland into the other states in Hindustan. The wealth that flowed from the eastern kingdoms was appealing for Samar to raise his desert kingdom into a region of power. Even employing a fire worshipper to help him in the arts of money making. He also feared the growing power of the Paramara Rajputs that showed themselves to be able of great aspirations in the western lands of Hindustan. By the last months of 1174, Samar gathered his men to scout the situation in the neighboring Rajput states. He entered through the kingdom of Anhilvara that were being pressured by the Pamarara to become their subordinates. Samar quickly made a deal with the Raja for protection, in return being given a favorable trade deal. He hoped to curve the Paramara ambitions by further making deals with the kingdoms of Kualio to the north and Kuch to the south. 
creating a coalition of Rajput states against them. Up in Delhi, Prithviraj received reports of conflicts emerging between the Ghazanids and Kurids in the west. So he began to muster his forces to make a surprise attack in the Multan region. Once a Rajput state, he hoped to bring it back to the Hindu fold. The Maharaja hauled his forces upon the river that separated both regions, hoping to get more reports before entering into Ghazanid land. With this set of events, he hoped to make a deal with the Gurids into continuing their feud with their Ghazanid neighbors, giving them financial and military support in hopes to exploit their weaknesses and bring forth the might of Hindustan for the Chauhans. By the start of the new year, the Paramara came to Ajayamiru for trade deals, but Samar refused unless they stopped their aggression against the other Rajput states. They in turn refused such offers and began to prepare for war. Sama began preparations to support the other kingdoms, going back to his stronghold and keeping a close eye on the battles between Gwalior and Hagivara against the Paramara Rajputs. Months later, a new reports arrived the war camp of Prithviraj, telling him that Jalandhar, the capital of the Multan region, was almost empty due to the conflicts between the Saracens. And so most forces were dispatched to the west. The Maharaja used this opportunity and attacked Jalandhar starting a siege on the city. He hoped for the Hindu population to end over the city to him. But the Saracen hold over the Multan was strong, so he had to attain it by force. Though it would be difficult for him, for Prithviraj had no experience in siege warfare, so he would have a difficult time in breaching the city. <laughs> Be ready for the next chapter of the Chauhan Rajput Saga, where we will unveil what will happen in the war against the Kazanids, and in the south, the growing tensions between the Chauhans and the Paramara dynasties. <laughs>